Hey guys, so I wanted to give you a little tour of the living room part of my van. Show you a little bit more in depth of actually all the items that I keep up here. Sorry if the rain's getting a little bit loud. Maybe this wasn't the best time to film. Let's turn on this light, it might help. Beautiful. This area where I keep all of my energy, these I charge up by solar power whenever I need to. I keep a few books back there for entertainment. I keep this big bin of miscellaneous supplies. So I'm gonna give you a detailed tour of all this stuff. This one I won't so much, it's just boring old like food, dried beans and stuff like that. I might give you a tour when I go specifics into my kitchen cabinet stuff, but for now I'm just gonna stick to like my living room stuff. This basket is just full of clothes, towels and dish dishcloths. And then behind it is where I throw dirty laundry. And then I have this like Velcro curtain all across here. So I'm gonna pull down some of these bins and then go through the stuff individually. I think this will be really fun because all the stuff that I keep in my van changes all the time. So for me, I'm gonna be so entertained with like what I thought was like such a priority to keep and then definitely see myself in like six months and be like, what a waste of space, I never used that. But that's what I think about most of this stuff right now, but I just wanna have the availability to do whatever I want, to have complete freedom and fun, and this is what I keep to do that. So let me pull one of these things down. We'll start with these power stations, they're amazing. This one is the 1000 watt Jackery power station. It's my big boy that I've relied on for a long time now. It's the best. And then I have this little one, which also is really Really convenient for like sneaking into places and plugging it in and stealing like electricity so subtly it's just like it fits in my backpack it's so cute so I'm really glad I have the small one I started with this one and I was like I want more it's worth it it's an investment but it's like a necessity and it's definitely it's just so worth it so what I keep in this big bin so I love doing crafts. If you guys haven't checked out my channel yet, it's like all craft projects. So newsprint is essential. I just have a roll of this and every time I can pull a new sheet for a clean workspace. This is a cute sailor bag that mostly has different type of tape in it and different miscellaneous like useful things. Like I have Velcro here if I ever need that. I have some packaging tape, double-sided tape, duct tape. I have these like sticky magnets that I haven't used yet for like pictures if I want to put pictures on like the, my metal doors. Everything in a van is made of metal so it's like really great. More double-sided tape, so useful. I have this string because I love string, elastic bands, embroidery floss. So I have three wood burners in my van currently. Uh, here's two of them just in case the first one breaks. I don't know why I have so many, but I do. It's useful for stained glass. The last thing that's in this bag is just a bunch of different colored inks. This is just stuff for calligraphy, if I ever feel like doing that, or just other random art. Ink is awesome. I also have this drill. It's, it's come in handy several times. For this drill, I have the charging stations. Okay, here, this is something cool that I haven't experimented with and I hope to do a project with this on my channel soon. So this is soapstone carving knives that I got from the craft store once upon a time. And I would love to just like find rocks. Actually, in this little bag, I have a couple rocks that I found. Not all rocks can you can carve into, it's specifically for soapstone, but I don't have any soapstone. But this is a really soft stone that I can carve into, so maybe I can do something with this like flat stone. And then I have this piece of calcite, and calcite is also just like a, a stone that can get weathered, so it can break easier. Maybe I can carve something out of these things. And if not, I can just go buy a soapstone. I see them at Michael's for like 30 bucks, and I'm like, can I just find my own soapstone somewhere? Here is a beautiful organization kit that makes me so happy where I keep some tools for jewelry making mostly, like links and chains and pin backs and magnets. I have a bunch of different mason jars. I have four mason jars of just random utensils for doing art. Are, are art tools called utensils? Art utensils? No, that's just for food, right? Okay, these are art 
supplies, general art supplies. So I have so many popsicle sticks scattered around. I have some pliers in here, a bunch of different brushes. I have this beautiful candle wick cutter, which was gifted to me. I love this. I just love like an activity with my candles, you know? At first I was like, why would I use this? But no, I can like take care of the flame and the, the candle. Anyways, I have this like candle wick snipper. I have exacto knives in here and mostly just black pens and markers. I also have a lino cutter in here, which is useful if I ever want to do block printing. So that's for carving out lino print. The second mason jar, we have some decorative tape, always useful for packaging things. These Micron pens were really popular when I was going to school. Are they still popular now? I don't know, I still have a bunch. And then this mason jar is exclusively pencil crowns. This is not gum, it's just an eraser. So I keep that there. I have a ruler, more popsicle sticks. Here are some bubble mailers. Here is my toolbox. So I have a hammer in there, hooks, screws, and then a bunch of nibs for the drill. So maintenance stuff that usually stays at the bottom of the bin. This is some liquid latex mold builder. You guys have seen this on my channel a bunch. I make molds with this so I can cast resin items. So fun. Here's a little watercolor kit for on the go. Cute little wheel of color, slightly used. So I have this miniature cutting board. I haven't used this yet, but I feel like it might come in handy. It's just so small and cute that it was like perfect size for a van. I have smaller pieces of paper and cardstock and just mixed media paper. This is a folder for all of my like kind of boring documents that I shouldn't throw away. This last bin is actually just a collection of everything I need to do stained glass. So there's just like a towel, another soldering iron, a little bit of glass and sandpaper, and just a glass cutter, all the tools that I might need. So I have a lot of options to like satisfy all of my hobbies. Hobbies are life, hobbies are everything. And that's the bin. So I always try to improve the Tetris game whenever I fill up this box. So I'm gonna start with the things that I use the least often. Better than ever. So I also keep behind it everything that I need to make buttons. So I have this button press right here. And then I also have this hammer in case I wanna like, I don't know, you never know when a nice chisel will come in handy. The books that I keep with me are Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind. It's a graphic novel, so good. Very fun fantasy. Walden by Henry David Thoreau. A really good nature, simple life read. Early Retirement Extreme. I've definitely heard of other van life people with the same interest in this book and it's a really great economic book by Jacob Lund Fisker. And then here's another really cute fantasy novel that I like to go into sometimes. I love Deer and it's about a girl that just like shapeshifts into a deer all the time and it's so fun. It's just a quick little read but I could read it like over and over again. I also keep this party light here. It has a bunch of settings and creates a really great vibe in my van when I want to so that's really fun. We're just gonna do this chest now. This guy is like more unique and fun. That is more like work stuff, crafts, art, supplies. You guys saw what that is. This stuff is a little bit more fun and random. Here we have, this is a Nintendo DS case. And pop out this chunky Nintendo DS. It's like been through it. It's kind of busted, but it's great. Let's see what game I have in there. Chocobo Tales. Final Fantasy, big fan. And yeah, this is just a really cute toy from like my childhood that hopefully I can hold on to forever and play whenever because I have a bunch of games for it that I've just collected over my many years of video game addiction. So just briefly what's in this is a bunch of different DS games. Look how many fun adventures I could go on just in my brain. Then I have this even more retro Nintendo Advance SP. And in that we have Zelda. This is like my first device and I have so many fun memories, just childhood memories associated with this. So of course I need to keep it in my van always. And there's just charging cords and a Game Boy Color game, Pokemon Crystal. Everyone who does van life needs this. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I also have this PAX Vape 
which looks like this. I just keep the entire case for it because it has all these like things. I don't use this that often, but I treated myself and I got this like a while ago and I think it's really cool. Skipping rope. I would love to use, honestly. Why haven't I used this in so long? I also keep my camera mounts in this bin. So this one is a head mount and this one is a chest mount. I have a fanny pack, useful for adventures. Game of Bananagrams for if I have company. Oh, a bunch more Game Boy Color games. So I have Kirby, Pokemon Yellow, Pokemon Blue. I have this speaker that's really loud and works great. I keep a bunch of guitar strings in here in case one ever snaps. A little bit of light reading. So these are a bunch of zines that people I know have done and that I've collected over time. Actually, this one's one that I made from going around Ontario and like finding gemstones and stuff. Fun. These are just so fun to go through. This is like a great little collection to read. The last thing that I keep in this box is this other game from when I was a child called 20 Questions. So you think of something in your brain, any object, you basically answer yes or no, or sometimes or unknown. In 20 questions, it'll be able to guess like what you were thinking. I remember when I was a kid and I was like, don't say your word out loud. There must be a speaker and it will know what you're saying. I don't know, sometimes it was accurate. Maybe it was more accurate for my child brain, but and that's everything in this bin. And that's everything that I wanted to show you on this little tour of my things. I hope you guys found it interesting. I know that this video for me in the future will definitely be interesting which is mostly why i wanted to do it but if anyone else got some entertainment or information in this video then i'm all the happier so i gotta put all this crap back in this bin and just wait out the rest of this rain anyways thanks for watching